I have just copied all my uploaded videos that I have on my NAS drive over to an external drive. Well, it's actually it's an internal drive that's actually in a docking station. And I've just confirmed that they are all on now, or most of them. That, you know, I couldn't get them all on because there wasn't enough room. Even though it's a 16 terabyte hard drive, I couldn't quite get them on. So I just had to take a few off just to make sure I can get them all on. And yeah, it's done. So this is my NAS drive and it's 50 or 57% full and I am now you know going to be deleting most of my folders that I've uploaded for my NAS. I'm just going to be deleting them that are actually on my NAS and not on my not my external drive. So if I go back to my external drive, so from here all the way down, this baby here. All the way down on my NAS, I am going to be deleting, which is there. Okay, so I am going to go from there right down to there and deleting that. And the thing that frightens me is I've got to make sure I delete the right one. So, what I'm going to do is close that one. I'm going to uh, ext uh, Disconnect it from the computer. Uh, this one here, eject USB SATA. The device is currently in use. Oh, have I left the folder open? I didn't think I had. No, I haven't. That should. It should just go. And my phone's beeping at me. There you go. Job done. Right, gonna turn her off. I've now turned it off and I will label it up so that I know exactly what's on that drive. But it goes. Let's just make sure I'm not deleting everything. Should be there. You go. Right, click. <laughs> Stick it in the bin. Are you sure you want to permanently delete 451 items? No, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure, but we're doing it. And here we go. This might take a little while, and then it might not. <laughs> we will see. Oh, it's not going to take that long, is it? That's not too bad, actually. But it'd be interesting to see how much storage I have left afterwards. Like I said, I was a bit nervous about actually doing this, but I thought it needs to be done. I need to find a way of backing it up. So I've done a shucking, and uh, that is an old video that I've done, and that is the hard drive from that shucker, or shucking. And, you know, I didn't throw the drive away. I put all brand new hard drives in my... NAS, which are all reds, so the proper, you know, proper NAS drives, but and that one up there that I'm actually or just copied it onto is not a proper red. It's actually what they call a white, a white labelled one. Okay, but it's good enough. It's good enough for me to put to one side if I need to access any of the information. I just plonk it into my docking station. Chop them. I'll be able to access it. Must put it in a safe place, which I have a safe. I do have a safe, so it'll be going into that. Yeah, I have a safe, I know. Crikey, it's nearly done. See, all that talking I can do. But I want to see how much storage I'll get out of it now, don't we? Many months later. Since I made that last bit, that was about a month ago, because I've been busy and I had to do some other things to get the figures to come up. Right, first things first. Yes, it does work. I've cleared it out and my drive that I've backed everything up onto or I've put everything onto or as much as I could is currently running at 14.5 terabytes. That's how full that is. So it gives just over a terabyte of space for it to move about. So make sure that you know whatever operating system you're using can actually access it nice and easy. Because if you fill it completely full, it can't move about. So yeah, it's 14.5 terabytes. I could have put maybe another video on there, but I thought, no, I'll leave it like that. And like I said, that was a month ago. And the thing I liked about it, it was quite easy to do, but it did take a long time in the end. It took a hell of a long time for it to, to copy from one to the other. But it's quite easy to do, but it just took a long time. Now then, you might be wondering, well, how much space did you actually save? 
like I said, it was over a month ago. Originally, I got 13% back. It was down to 13%. So it's now running at 16%, which was, before that, it was, a, what was it, 52, 53%? I can't remember now. It was that long ago. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have to have a look. But it's down to 16% used, 6.7 terabytes used of 41.9 terabytes. Yeah, it's humongous. Humongous bit of space. I know what people are saying. Why do you need all that? Well, I put all my videos on there. I do all my video or I place all my videos on there first because I know they're going to be safe, fingers crossed. I mean, anything could go wrong, but I'm pretty sure the NAS is safer than putting them on my PC. So I prefer to put them all on there. And if I need to access anything, I can get it back again. The same as if I go to my storage, my backup storage that I've just put everything on there I can just plug that into my caddy and access it which you know is well I'm doing it right now I'm actually not that bit but the other bit I was looking at just a second ago the percentage thing that yeah that is my backup let me get rid of that let me just close that now I want to remove it give me a second right like I said this is my backup drive 16 terabytes and you know, 14 something or 14 and a half percent of it is actually used. Yeah, 14 and a half terabytes is actually used. And yeah, I'm going to put that somewhere safe. But if I need to use it any time, I can just get it out, plonk it into my caddy, and see what's on there. If I need to get that out of the way. And like I said. 16%. Now, there's something to bear in mind. If you're thinking about buying NAS or you, you're trying to save a bit of space like I was trying to get back, it doesn't delete it. What happens, it puts it in the bin or the basket. Same as Windows, but where Windows will not put anything that's too big over a certain size, Windows will just say, oh, this is too big to go in the bin. Do you wish to permanently delete? And you can say, yes. Well, this doesn't. I put all that into my bin and it stored it and I thought well why is that not going down why have I still got all this storage being used up it should have gone down by now and I thought oh I don't know what to do I'll do a restart and it'll clear it no it was still there so I've done a bit of research and it says you've got to empty the bin so I emptied the bin I've done a restart and it was still saying it was full up so there's a couple of other little things you need to do which is basically you need to refresh it you need to say yeah have a look you know, Go for go through all the scrubbing, have a look to see what's actually on the drive now, and you go, oh yeah, look, you've got all this space back, and it come up thirteen percent. It's, it's now sixteen percent used because since then I've been doing some more videos. So I just wanted to share this little video with you and show you, uh, you know, how I saved a little bit of space, or quite a lot of space actually, on my NAS. But I know what some people are going to say: you've got all that information on one drive if that drive packs up you're going to lose it all unfortunately you're correct that is the price you pay by putting it all onto one drive but i'm also thinking about copying that onto another drive because i've got another 16 terabyte drive so i'm going to copy that onto another one so i'll have two copies and put them in two different places for backup one i'll keep here and one i will keep somewhere else like at my son's house. That makes sense, doesn't it? So uh, with that, let me know in the comments what you think, whether you think I'm doing the right thing, the wrong thing, or you you might have a better idea. Let me know. It'd be interesting to find out what you lot think. And also, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.